What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to complete a machine called Mirai from Hack the Box. As you can see, it's a fairly easy machine, 3.7 out of 10. And here is how real life it is and all the metrics for it. Our IP address for this machine is 10.10.10.48. .10 .10 and this is a retired machine, so you need a subscription to be able to access it. So first thing that I want to make sure that I can ping that machine 10 to 10 to 10 to 48 as you can see. So since we can ping the machine, I went ahead and um, I use my pentest.ws. I want the top 1000 first, the top 1000 ports. So if I copy that, that's my nmap scan so we can enumerate and find out. So this is the command that I'm running. Um, in this case, I'm removing the verbosity. I'm going to scan for versions and also uh, use the default saved scripts output to a file called TCP. And here's our IP address. And Nmap is going to find all the information that is uh, all the ports that are open. In this case, top 1000 ports. So after running that same command to save us time, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here are all the ports that we discovered and we have port 80, we have 53. So what I like to do is if I have port 80, I just like to go and quickly find out what's on the HTTP port. So that's what I have here. So since we have port 80 open, let's go to 10 or 10. I don't see anything unless if something is on it. Yeah. All right, so since we didn't find anything on our web here, I'm just going to use GoBuster and GoBuster uh, is a tool that allows us to find out if there are any subdirectories on a web server. So if you go to github, github.com or jgobuster, you can read here about what you can do with gobuster, but we're pretty much going to find directories. There's installation instructions here and also the usage. So this is where I'm finding how I'm going to be using gobuster. And to, to use gobuster for me, I'm running gobuster, I'm saying directory search u for url https to my website uh, http in this case uh, word list i'm using the medium.txt and i'm just uh, specifying 20 threads here so let's see if we run it as you can see we start go buster and you're going to find that uh, right away we found that we have a slash admin here so i'll let it run and then let's go back here and see if we can find that slash admin. Yeah. All right, so there we go. That was a few snags. Looks like we are running Pyhole. And if you haven't used Pyhole before, Pyhole is a tool that we use to block DNS entries, some of the bad DNS domains. So we do have here the load. All right, let's go to the login page. Once our password. Um, Pyro, first thing that I do when I'm presented with a login page, and in this case, it just wants the password, is I look up the default credentials. And if the default credentials don't work, I go to SQL injection test. Then if that doesn't work, you go further. But for now, let's look up um, Pyro default creds. So just come here, here it is, username is going to be pi and password raspberry. Okay, let's try that first here. Okay, so the credentials don't work, but we know that it is pi and raspberry. Let's go back to our nmap results here to see if there's another way to get in there. We have port 22 ssh so let's try those credentials on port 22 and see if that works for us if you do an ssh and the user is pi at 10.10.10.48 these are the first easy steps to do is just try to ssh if you can if you get lucky uh, password here as we found out just raspberry 
All right, now that I typed it correctly, look what happened. We were, we are in using the default credentials. So let's um, clear our screen and sure enough, we are in there. First thing that I do when I get into a machine is, uh, let me find out where I am. I'm, I'm home, LS minus LA, see what's in there. We have all these things. All right, so we have the configs here background.jpg I might actually want to look at all these things just in case but for now let's do a sudo let's see if we can do anything with root, root permissions sudo minus l and this will show us if there's anything that allows us to run commands as root and as you can see here's the path oh so we should be able to just do from that we should be able to if I do a sudo su Look at that, I'm already root, and that's how we have it set up here. So if I do a look at user.txt, let's find that first. Find user.txt. Okay, let's go to desktop. Usually the hex the box flags are on the desktop. Let's start with the desktop for Pi ls. Here it is. Create user.txt. And I'll pause it here, but you see that we got the flag. All right, now that we got our user.txt flag, let's go and find the root.txt. As you can see on the home directory here for the user root, we can just do that uh, ls, and here's root.txt. So if you do ls, root.txt or cat says oh i lost my original root.txt i think the media may, may be in the backup usb stick okay no problem so first let's um go and find this usb stick so such media should have my usb sticks in there cd usb stick ls Okay, here's more messages again. Less. Okay, so here's another clue. The files are deleted. We need to be able to find them. Okay, so from here, what since it says the files are deleted, let's go to the actual media mount location where it's mounted and try to view it. So if we do a cat, and media is going to be mounted in um, dev sdb that's where most media will be so let's catch that file and see there we go so we got a lot of things here let's just go all the way to the end all right so here's the same message that we saw but look what's interesting here the flag is right there so it doesn't really matter. Just copy that flag, come to hack the box, submit the flag, and you got it. So that's it. How that's how we work on this machine. If you like this content, please make sure to subscribe and like my videos. Otherwise, I will see you next time.